What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to another installment of Date, Smash, or Pass. You guys know the game. We're me and my brother Sonic. We look at girls and we decide whether or not we would like to date, smash, or pass on them. But sadly, guys, I don't have my brother Sonic here with me. Guys, I actually have someone completely new. You see, guys, he actually comes from the same universe as, well, believe it or not, my sis slash friend, Stargleam the Hedge Dragon. And he, and guys, you guys might know who he is. Well, Star does, but <laughs> unfortunately, this is my first time meeting him. Guys, and I'm a little bit nervous. Anyway, guys, today I introduce you guys to uh, Ray the Hedge Dragon, otherwise known as Stargleam's dad. Okay, so uh, go ahead, Ray, and introduce yourself to everybody. Greetings, everyone. My name is Ray Hedge Dragon. Uh, yes, I am the father of the of Stargleam, the Hedge Dragon. Anyway, so, you're this flame that she's always talking about. Yeah, I'm somewhat of a friend slash brother to her. Because, you see, she comes from a world where she's Sonic's sister, and in this world, I'm Sonic's brother, so, in a way, we're somewhat family. So, yeah, we call each other sis and bro. Well, that is definitely something. You know, I can't help notice, but you're half dragon, half hedgehog yourself. You know, <laughs> if my little star wasn't married to Lucas, you two would have made a great couple. <laughs> well, I am flattered. I am flattered, uh, Mr. Hedge Dragon, but I only see your daughter as a friend. Nothing more. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, so, you wanted to play this game? What's it called again? Well, it's called Date, Smash, or Pass. Basically, what you do is, you look at a picture of a girl, and you think about that girl. They think about their personalities and stuff. Now, it's quite simple. All you have to do is decide whether or not you will want to date them, which means you would go out on a date and have a good time, smash them, a.k.a. have a little bit of fun in between the sheets, if you know what I mean. Or, you would pass on them, which means you don't want anything to do with them. You uh, don't want to smash them or anything. So, yeah, they're not your type or something like that. Oh, I see. So, I guess we can begin. It seems simple enough. Yeah, and it's going to be random. Like, that means I have, like, random girls in here. And I hear that you don't dimension hop as much. No, I don't dimension hop. So, this so this is going to be my first time playing this, and not only that, I don't know any other girls in here. Well, don't worry. I'll introduce you to them, because I know a lot of them in here. Okay, so I guess we might as well get started. Yep, let's get started. All right, guys, so if you guys want to see more Date Smasher Passes, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below which Sonic character do you guys want me to bring on next. And also, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to bring Ray back onto the channel because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys might want to see some more of Stargleam's friends and family and stuff. And I know that Stargleam really wants me to get along with her dad. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I, which is why at the end of the day, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you my stamp of approval to let you continue to see my daughter. Well, all right, because trust me, nothing is going on between me and Stargleam. Anywho, without further ado, let's begin. All right, so the first girl we have on the list here is... Okay, so in honor of Halloween, guys, I decided to put in Mavis... Dracula from Hotel Transylvania. Hmm. Well, she is quite a looker. So, who is she anyway? Well, basically, Mavis, she is the daughter of the ever-so-famous and feared Dracula. I see. Yes, and she basically 
she basically, like I said, is the daughter of Dracula, and in order to protect her, Dracula built Hotel Transylvania. So that way, monsters... So that way, monsters and crazy creatures can live there without being, without being judged or having to worry about humans. But then one day, a human stumbled across Hotel Transylvania, and Dracula tried his very, very best to hide him, but, but nope, but nope. He found out, everybody found out, and they immediately looked down on Drac and everything, and including, Ma but Mavis, he, she really liked that human. Liked, their, liked them so much that in the next movie, they got married. And they even had a kid named Dennis. <laughs> At first, they didn't know if Dennis was going to be a vampire or half vampire or not. But at, but by the end, they actually realized that he was part vampire. It was definitely pretty cool. I see. So she's a vampire. Yep, she's a vampire. And like I said, she's the daughter of Dracula. And she has all sorts of different abilities. She can shape shift. She can turn into a bat. And not only that, but she is really, really strong, too. <laughs> well, all right. So, to my conclusion, I think I decided that I'm going to date. I think I'll date Mavis. Okay. As for me, I think I might smash. Yeah, I would definitely smash Mavis. Because, you see, it's not my first time that I ever tried vampire, you know. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, let's just say, in all the girls that I have in my harem, I at least have one vampire girl. Wait, you have a harem? Yeah. Does Stargleam know you have one? Yes, she does. In fact, she's okay with it. She doesn't judge me at all. Well, okay. What about your wife? Um, my wife isn't really into it. But she doesn't say anything because, you know, she wants to keep me happy and everything. Oh, I see. Okay, well, anyway, so it's going to be a date for me and a smash for you, right? Yep, that's right. Okay, so, anyway, next up... Oops, oh, excuse me. Okay, so next up we have is... Alice Angel from Bendy and the Ink Machine. Whoa, now she looks beautiful. Trust and believe me, Alice Angel is definitely known for being beautiful. Anywho... Anywho, Alice Angel... Oh, sorry guys, I'm getting a little bit sleepy. Mm, excuse me. Anyway, Alice Angel, she is a famous cartoonist. She's a famous cartoon character from the famous cartoon show, otherwise known as Bendy and the Ink Machine. And she's also the female... Uh, she's also the uh, love interest of Bendy himself. And not only that, but she's also good at dancing and singing and lots of other stuff too. And acting. But the one thing that she really is good at, but the one thing that she really is good at is definitely making sure people have a blessed day and helping people get to heaven. It's really great. Okay, well, Alice Angel, I do believe I am definitely going to give her... Give her a uh a date okay so alice angel is definitely getting a date from you well for me i think i would definitely date her as well i would date her as well i'm not gonna smash i'm not gonna smash because uh well what do you mean well basically because me and her boyfriend bendy he's a demon and i really don't want me and him to uh become enemies or anything because I respect Bendy. He's really awesome. I really, I do respect him a lot. I respect him, so yeah. I am not going to smash his girl. Well, that's understandable. I wouldn't want to smash anybody else's girl, too. Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, by the way. <sighs> Sorry. Anyway, by the way, all this that we're saying here is all hypothetical, which means we don't really mean it. Well, I can definitely see that, because trust me, I really do love my wife a lot. I really do. Oh, yeah. Your wife. If I remember correctly, she's my mom. She's my mom. Well, your version of my mom, otherwise known as Alina, right? Yes, that's right. Well, okay. 
Anyway, let's continue on. Alright, so the next girl we have here on the list is... Okay, so next up we have is the ever so beautiful and sexy Crystal Cooperson. Otherwise known as the performer from two different worlds. Whoa, no, she's definitely beautiful. Yep, she and I, we actually went to the same high school together. But unfortunately, when we did go out every now and then, we weren't technically, you know, uh, friendly with each other. We weren't technically friendly with each other yet. That is until, you know, it's a little bit complicated. But anyway, she is very, very beautiful, sexy. She's really good at singing. In fact, she's a performer. She sings in both here on Mobius and she also performs back in the Bendy and the Ink Machine world. But she originally came from here, Mobius. And every so often she goes over to the Bendy and the Ink Machine world to sing over there too. <laughs> to uh, sing with her singing group, otherwise known as Alice Angels. That's where, that's where Alice Angel, Crystal Cooperson, and their other partner, Dolly, sing together. It's quite interesting, really. I see. Well, she is quite talented. Yeah, she is. And she's also my girlfriend. Oh, wait. You have girlfriends and you're married? Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I mean, my like I said before, my wife isn't fully thrilled about the harem thing, but she said as long as I'm happy, everything's okay. Okay. Yeah, and sh and I also told her about the uh, 50 girls thing. So, yeah, everything is just fine. Everything's just fine. Well, okay, just making sure you're not trying to, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, for me, I am definitely smashing. I mean, I really, really would like to smash her. <laughs> and I do on a daily basis. I'm kidding. Anywho, so what about you? Well, I guess I could date her. She is pretty beautiful. Yeah, trust me, she is beautiful. And she has the softest hands and the most beautiful voice that you ever heard. Well, that's nice. That's really, really nice. What a talented young lady. Okay, anyway, next up we have is... Oh, okay, so next up we have is Betty Boop. Oh, boy. I forgot the name. I forgot the station that she's in. I think it's MGM TV. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Whoa, now that is what I call a babe. Who is she? Well, that's Betty Boop. She's an old car she's an old style cartoon. And basically what happens is is that she is a very very famous girl. She's known for singing, dancing, acting, and all sorts of things. She's absolutely beautiful and stunning. She's absolutely beautiful and stunning. <laughs> yeah, she is definitely something. And she's also really famous for, um, she's also really famous for her famous line, otherwise known as boop boop be doop. Hmm, that's interesting. So, how often does she say that? Not often. She is very, very beautiful, and she's, and she's really, really interesting. She's really, really, I don't know, protective of lots of things. She's very, very protective of the environment, her friends, and sometimes she's often the damsel in distress sometimes. My favorite cartoon that she played in was Old Man of the Mountain. That's my favorite cartoon that she did. I mean, the music was on point. It was definitely great. I love watching that one. Guys, if you guys haven't seen that cartoon, you guys should really look it up. It's called Betty Boop. Old Man of the Mountain. You guys would definitely love that cartoon. And not only that, but you'll also love the music too. The Old Man of the Mountain, that's definitely one of my favorite songs from, from the Betty Boop cartoons. It's definitely awesome. I love it. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, it is really interesting. Okay, so anyway, for me, I think I would definitely smash Betty Boop. I would definitely smash Betty Boop. She's definitely beautiful, and she really has touched the hearts and the souls of lots and lots of people. So, yeah, Betty Boop is definitely getting a smash. Well, for me, I think I would definitely give her a date. Because if she's like one of those old-style cartoons, you know, rest assured, she probably isn't going to go down without a fight. Or she's not that easy. 
trust me, she is not that easy. Trust me, she's not. She really isn't. Because trust and believe me, she represents the independent woman. She represents the independent woman. You know, like, don't really need a man or anything to survive. But she does often get a man every now and then. I don't really know what type of man she normally get, ends up with. Because every so often, she always gets with, like, a different man and stuff from different cartoons. But it's definitely crazy. She even made a cameo. She even made an appearance in the ever so famous uh, movie, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I ain't never seen that movie. Well, you would like it. Anyway, so what do you want to do with Betty Boop? Well, I think maybe I might date her. Well, yeah, I already said I was going to date her. Well, okay, because trust and believe me, Betty Boop, she is definitely amazing. And she really would light up any man's world. Anywho... Anywho, so I said I would smash, and you said you would date, right? Right. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. Oh, okay, so next up we have is Kaguya from Naruto. And also, guys, before you ask, yes, I actually am using fan art from Kish and Pain, if you guys haven't noticed, but anywhoozle. Anywhoozle, yeah, um... Kaguya, she basically is a chakra, um, girl, uh, she's sort of an alien, she's sort of an alien, well, not really, but she actually is really good with, uh, using, uh, chakra, it's, uh, quite interesting and stuff, um, um, she's also the sworn enemy of Naruto and Sasuke, but she doesn't really like hurting them that much, mainly because they're sort of the reincarnations of her sons. It's, uh, really interesting, I guess. But anyway, Kaguya, yeah, I would definitely smash. I would 100% smash Kaguya. Uh, I'm gonna pass because, number one, I really don't know what the heck she's gonna be doing with that whip. And two, I'm not really into that type of stuff. And three, uh, I don't date villains. Well... Okay, I don't blame you. Well, still, I would definitely smash. Because if you really do think about it, there is no such thing as a villain. All it is is just a troubled person seeking out attention. That's all that a villain is, is a troubled person that's just trying to seek out attention. Or a person that's, you know, trying to, uh, you know, just trying to make a difference in the world or something, I guess. I don't know. Kind of like Donald Trump. <laughs> I mean, most people saw him as a villain, but, eh, it's definitely weird. Okay, well, but anyway, let's keep on going to the next girl. Let's see who's next. Okay, we, so we got another Naruto girl. Whoa, who is that? I would like to introduce you to Hinata from Naruto. Hinata. Hmm, that's an interesting name. Yeah, that's her name, Hinata. Anyway, basically, Hinata, she what, when she was younger, she was definitely a really, really shy girl. She was always really, really shy, hiding in the background, and really, just really, really not interested in interacting with people. Why is that? Mainly because whenever she's in a group of people, her, her crush is always around. And, his, and her crush is none other than Naruto, the main character of the show of well naruto he basically she basically likes him a lot and she really actually had a crush on him she actually did have a crush on him when she was younger but she didn't have the confidence to tell him to tell him but when they became teenagers yes they actually she actually did confess her love to him finally and when they became adults they got married they got married and they had two kids oh well that's sweet yeah and trust and believe me, Hinata, she is one girl you would definitely love. Because trust and believe me, lots of people go nuts when they see Hinata. Really? Yeah, because before, in the earlier days of Naruto, most people didn't really pay attention to her. They were mainly all about, um, uh, what was her name again? Oh yeah, Tsunade. They were mainly all about Tsunade and Sakura and lots of other stuff. I see. And ever and when Naruto upgraded a little bit with more seasons, Hinata soon became the main attraction, right? Yeah, and lots of other girls in Naruto. Lots of other girls. But the one thing I really don't like is how people always disrespect Sakura. 
Like, what the heck do they do? They call her useless, they call her flat-chested, and lots of other stuff. I mean, sure, she may be flat-chested, but she is still amazing. I mean, come on, guys. Think about it. Okay, okay, I guess you should calm down. Anyway, uh, Hinata, I think I would definitely, um, smash. I would definitely smash Hinata. I mean, she looks beautiful enough. Trust me, she is definitely beautiful. And trust and believe me, Hinata, she may look sweet and innocent, but what from Naruto told me? Jesus Christ, she's a freak. Yikes. Okay, well, anyway, yep, I would definitely smash. Okay, for me, I would definitely smash as well. Alright, Ray, here's the next one. It is Sakura. Okay, so you told me a little bit about her. So, what is she, basically? Well, basically, Sakura, she's a very, very beautiful girl who works harder than any other girl in the Hidden Leaf Village. She's really talented at what she does, hardly. Uh, she hardly does anything. She's known for, I don't know, being useless, what people say. She's known for being useless. And uh, But one thing she is really good at is really hard hitting. Hard hitting? Ugh, sorry, I'm still a little bit sleepy. Hard hitting? Yeah, she's known for punching really hard, punching and kicking and all sorts of things. She doesn't really use ninja magic like Naruto or Sasuke or Kakashi and lots of other stuff. She's almost like the female version of Rock Lee a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But anywho... But anywho, uh... Sakura, yeah, I would definitely smash Sakura. Reason why is because she has... Think about it like this, guys. Like I said before, Sakura does not get the respect that she deserves. Come on, guys. I mean, think about it. Think about it like this. If it wasn't for Sakura, Hinata would have been dead after facing off against Pain. If it wasn't for Sakura, Naruto would have been dead. If it wasn't for Sakura, Sasuke would have been dead. Or if, you know, lots of other stuff. I mean, come on. She's pretty much the only girl that I know in the Naruto world that can heal people. I mean, come on. Yeah, so now that I'm hearing this, I think I would definitely um, date her. Trust and believe me, you'll be doing her a favor. Mm, excuse me. Whew. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, let's keep going. All right, so next up we have is Android 21. Now, uh, Ray, you don't know Android 21. Uh, there's two different versions of her. There's the normal version of her, and there's the Majin version of her. So I got both of them here in this picture. Okay. Care to tell me about the uh, human version of her, or the normal version? Okay, well, basically, in this normal version of her, she is known for being a scientist she's known for being really really smart and not only that but she's also known for um just being flat out beautiful and she's also very very beautiful in her majin form but in her majin form she's known for being a great martial artist she's known for you know being very very durable and not only that but she's also good at turning people into candy she can turn people into candy yeah that's a little bit of a trait that she got from another Dragon Ball character, otherwise known as Majin Buu. She basically can turn people into candy. And once she eats that candy person, the um, their energy gives her energy. She basically absorbs energy from them by the treats that she eats. Wow. And let me just tell you, they both may be different, but they both have one thing in common. They both have sweet tooths. They both really, really enjoy eating sweets. Cakes, cookies, brownies, ice cream, you name it, she'll eat it. Okay, well that's definitely something. Yeah, trust me. You don't want to be this girl, you do not. Ugh. Sorry guys, I'm still a little bit yawning. Sorry guys. Anyway, you do not want to be around this girl whenever she's near a dessert tray or something like that. Because she'll immediately demolish it. Yikes. So, let me see. Uh, I think I would, let's see, I would date the Majin version, and I would smash the human version. Okay, well, for me, I would definitely date both versions. I would smash and date both versions. Wait, 
Can you pick both sides? Yeah, you can pick both. Either date or smash. You can either pick both if you want to. Okay. All right, and whatever. Oh, one other thing. You can't pick one of the options and then a, then a pass because how, cause think about it. How are you going to smash and pass and how are you going to date and pass? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, it really doesn't. Anyway, let's continue on with the next girl. All right, so next up is another Dragon Ball Z character, otherwise known as Android 18. Now, trust me. Now, this girl is definitely 100% waifu material in Dragon Ball Z. I mean, compared to Bulma and Chi-Chi, she's definitely waifu material. Well, who is she? Well, she's basically a... Uh, Robotic woman, just like Android 21. Anyway, uh, she's basically a robotic woman. She's known, she's an android, but technically she's supposed to be a cyborg, but the doc, but the creator that named her Dr. Jiro was, uh, a bit of, uh, you know, crazy. Yeah. So he just calls them androids. It's pretty stupid, but they're actually cyborgs because they were once people. Anywho, Android, anyway, Android 18, she is known for being a really, really skilled martial artist. In fact, she was, in fact, believe it or not, she was actually a part of a very dangerous organization known as the Red Ribbon Army, who was, who was, and she was sent to destroy, uh, Goku, same thing with her brother, Android 17, it was pretty crazy, but anyway, um, after that, after that, um, she didn't, she never destroyed Goku or anything, she was absorbed by Cell, another android built by Jiro, who, who was, uh, desperate to become perfect and all that stuff, but anyway, um, she basically, uh, after the whole Cell thing, she started living on Earth with her brother, she started living on Earth with her brother and everything, and then next thing you know, uh, Goku's friend Krillin fell in love with her. They got married, had a kid, and lots of other stuff. But wait, did you just say they had a kid? Yeah, they did. How the world is it that an android and a human person can have a kid? Well, I guess some of her human features is still inside of her, I guess. I guess that's why. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, well, anyway, Android 18 is definitely 100% getting a smash and a date from me. Well, for me, since I don't know much about her and... But tell me, is she strong? Yeah, she is really, really strong. In fact, she's one of the few girls in Dragon Ball that really is strong. Well, in that case, I guess I would definitely um, date. Yeah, okay, okay, so you'll date Android 18. Okay, well, I'll smash. Well, alright. Okay, so, next girl we have on the list is... Oh, um, hello! Hello! Okay, alright, here we go. Whoa, okay, you, uh, slow down, Flame. Uh, so, you know this girl? Yes, I do. That is Urza Scarlet, and she's from the anime otherwise known as Fairy Tale. She is definitely... One of the most beautiful, one of the most sexy girls in all of the anime. Trust and believe me, once you see this woman, she is absolutely, positively breathtaking. Okay, so who is she? Well, basically what she is, is she is a very, very skilled warrior. She's known for having many, many different armors and many, many different weapons. She's really good at sword play, hand-to-hand -hand combat. And not only that, she has a little bit of a temper. She has a little bit of a temper. Because, trust and believe me, you do not want to mess with this girl when you make her angry. You really don't. And not only that, but... Oh my god, she's very, very beautiful in any outfit that she wears. From her armors to dresses, and to lots of other stuff. She pretty much is one of the most beautiful women in all of the fairy tale world. That, or Lucy, or lots of other girls. <laughs> but anyway, yes, she is definitely one of the most beautiful women in all of fairy tale, and I can pretty sure lots of people agree. And if you don't agree, there is something wrong with you. So yeah, 100% I am smashing Urza Scarlet. Well, if she is that good, um, well, if she is 
what you say she is. I guess I can say smash. Well, alright, so glad that you picked the right option, because trust and believe me, you would definitely want to smash Urza Scarlet. Well, okay. Alright, anyway, let's keep going. Alright, so next up we have is... Uh, the another beautiful and sexy girl. We have Miss Azdeath. We have Azdeath, the Ice Queen herself. Wait, what, why do you call her Ice Queen? Is it because her hair is like blue like ice? No, it's not because of that. It's because she has ice powers. But anyway, let me tell you about Azdeath. Azdeath, she is definitely 100% a interesting person. She's a dictator. She's a dictator. She's almost like a female version of Hitler. And she wants to try and uh, change the world in her own image. And she wants to conquer worlds and stuff. And not only that, but let me just say, she's a real master when it comes to torture and stuff. What do you mean by that? Well, you'd be surprised what type of stuff she does to the people that don't follow her rules. She sometimes freezes them in ice, or sometimes she puts them in chains and makes them beg for mercy. And if they don't beg, she practically um, stomps their eyeballs with her heels. She basically stabs her heels through their eye sockets and lots of other stuff. Okay, now that's just sick. Trust and believe me, it is pretty sick. Ugh. Okay, well, anyway, back to what... Okay, so anyway, yeah, as death, I would definitely say smash. Dude, why would you want to smash a girl like this? Well, sure, she may be a dictator there, but she's not all bad. In fact, she has a soft side. That cold, icy heart of hers melted when she seen this boy by the name of Tatsumi. And let me just say, after when Tatsumi rejected her, she immediately tried her very, very best to get with this guy. She tried so hard to get with this guy. She really tried. Wow, she was really that desperate? Yes! She's really that desperate. In fact, she tried so hard to try and get him to like her. And did he ever like her? No, because he died. Yikes, that's definitely scary. Yeah, but anyway, as death, 100% getting a smash. Well, I think I'll pass because if I don't do what she likes, I'm pretty sure she's gonna, you know, stab me in the eye. I don't want that. Well, okay, well, so you're passing on her? Yes, I'm definitely 100% passing on as death. Ouch. Okay, well, anyway, like I said, I'm definitely smashing. Anyway, moving on. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Another hot babe, another hot babe. It's a little bit blurry, but I guess you guys can tell who it is. Wait, isn't that Rouge the Bat? Yes, Rouge the Bat, the ever so famous beautiful girl in all of the Sonic franchise. Yeah, we have a Rouge in my world. Oh, you do? Yeah, but, uh, no one has really heard from her ever since. Not even our Knuckles. Oh, okay, well, trust and believe me, our Rouge, she's definitely 100% beautiful. Uh, you already know who she is, right? Yes, she's a jewel thief, a G.U.N. agent, and not only that, but she is a total, uh, womanizer. She's a total womanizer. She basically tries her best to try and get what she wants through men and and, and manipulation and all that other stuff. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't care what she has to do to get a jewel. She doesn't care if she has to kiss a man. She doesn't care if she has to sleep with a man. And she doesn't really care if she has to, I don't know, have a family with a man. She doesn't care. I highly doubt if Rouge would go for that because trust and believe me, if somebody, like, someone but ugly had a jewel, I honestly don't think she would go that far into sleeping with them. I highly doubt if she will go that far to sleep with them just for a jewel. Well, yeah, that is true. But think about it. She said, and she quotes, all, all the world's gems are hers to keep. Well, yeah, true, true, true. But there is one thing, though. She does have standards. True, true, true. Rouge, she does have standards. Yeah, so the big question is, would she actually sleep with a butt, uh, butt ugly guy to actually, you know, <laughs> get a jewel or something? I honestly don't know. I really don't know. I honestly don't know. 
Okay, well, anyway, let's keep going. So, yeah, 100% smash. I would definitely smash Rouge. I mean, come on, guys, think about it. Who wouldn't smash Rouge? Think about it. Who wouldn't smash Rouge? Okay, yeah, true, true, true. Who wouldn't smash Rouge? Rouge. Yeah, trust me. Because if you guys are crazy to say pass on Rouge, you guys must be either drunk or on crack because... How could you pass up somebody like that? Anyway, let's keep going to the next one. Alright, so next up we have is Amy! Wait, so you have an Amy in your world too? Yeah. Well, she's married to, believe it or not, my son. Yeah, I know, I know, she's married to your Sonic. Well, my Amy is also married to my Sonic. Ah, I see. Well... <laughs> I guess my Amy and your Amy isn't too far different, huh? I guess not. I guess not. I mean, they are both very, very beautiful. They're both sexy. And let me just tell you, my Amy, she really, really knows how to <laughs> treat my brother very, very well. Well, my, well, Amy definitely knows how to treat my son very well. I really am happy that Sonic... And Amy actually did get together very well. Yeah, I'm actually glad that they did get together because honestly, it took them I don't know how long to finally get together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, I would definitely say smash Amy. I would definitely smash Amy. Uh, I think I'm going to pass because um, she may be beautiful and all, but eh, no, no, she's definitely not my type. Well, okay, I can respect that. I can respect that. Okay, so anyway, next girl. Next girl. Oh, hello. Okay, so who's this? Next up we have is Miss Jessica Rabbit from the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Again, I have not seen that movie. Okay, well, I'll tell you about her then. Well, Jessica Rabbit, she is a very, very famous nightclub singer. Okay, you know, okay... I don't know if you have been to one of those nightclubs, but you know how there's sometimes a singer there that sometimes walks around singing and she sometimes climbs up on the tables and get up all into people's faces and all that other stuff and gets on top of a piano and act all sexy and stuff? Yeah. Well, she's basically one of those people. Wait, what? Yeah, she's basically like one of them. And not only that, but <laughs> this, is, this is definitely going to be a shock to you. <laughs> She's married to a complete idiot. Wait, what? Yeah, she's married to a complete idiot. Basically, she's mar- Okay, her last name, Rabbit. Get this. She's actually married to a rabbit. What? Yeah, Roger Rabbit. He's basically so stupid and dumb. He's practically a goofball. But the big question is, is how the world can a woman like this- How the world can a woman like this- be with a goofball like him and the bigger question is how the world can a goofball like him score a woman like that i honestly don't know and plus not only that that's bestiality because that's just pretty gross yeah it is pretty gross but either way she is definitely beautiful wouldn't you say yeah she is beautiful so yep i'm definitely gonna smash yep me too i'm smashing yep same here i'm definitely smashing uh, <laughs> Jessica Rabbit. So, guys, if you guys want me to... Br oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Guys, if you guys want me to bring Jessica Rabbit back onto the channel, because I know I had her on here. So, yeah, just let me know in the comments if you guys want me to bring her back, and I'll try my best, because I still have the portal ring to Toontown and lots of other stuff, because uh, it's definitely really crazy out there. What is Toontown, anyway? That's a place where old-style cartoons used to live, like the loon like 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 Looney Tunes, uh Disney characters and lots of other stuff. It's uh pretty crazy. Wow, interesting. Yeah, so anyway, let's keep on going to the next girl. Alright, so next up we have is Boa Hancock. So next up we have is Boa Hancock from the anime One Piece. Whoa, now she is beautiful. Yeah, trust and believe me, Boa Hancock is one girl, it's really hard to get with her. She's, it's really hard to get with her. Really? Why? Because, because, 
well, she is beautiful, but she does have, you know, a little bit of a crush on a young pirate by the name of Luffy. And not only that, but she's also willing to do whatever it takes to provide for him and stuff. Not only that, but she kind of has a... She kind of doesn't like men that much. Really? Yeah, because you see, she uh, is not only a pirate, but she's also a princess of an island of all women called Amazon Lily. It's quite interesting, really. Really? Yeah. No women live... No men live there. It's all women. Wow. Now that definitely sounds like a man's dream. I've been there before, and let me just tell you, those women are really, really friendly. Well, not really, because they haven't seen a man before. In fact, get this. When Luffy went to Amazon Lily for the first time, when, well, he got stuck on Amazon Lily for the first time, believe it or not, the women put him in a cell, and he was naked at the time, and uh, they kind of saw his, um, <coughs> chili dog, if you know what I mean. Wait, what do you mean by chili? Oh! Yeah, they thought it was a mushroom. Yeah, they thought it was a mushroom, and they started touching it and all that stuff. It was weird! It was, like, really weird. I'm just glad that they didn't... I'm just glad that, you know, it was blurred at that time. Ugh, I'm just glad it was blurred. Ugh. It was just weird. Anyway, as for Boa Hancock, yes, I would definitely smash Boa Hancock. Okay, and as for me, I think I would definitely smash Boa Hancock as well. Yeah, trust and believe me, she's a really, really beautiful woman. She basically makes people fall in love with her. Really? Yeah, she makes people fall in love with her. See, you see, basically what she does is that when you look into her, you're definitely hypnotized by her beauty. And, not only that, she can turn people to stone. So basically, she's sort of like Medusa. Yeah, she basically is sort of like Medusa in a way. But, she doesn't really turn people into stone forever. I mean, she can if she wants to, but she, so, but she does have the ability to turn people back. Wow, that's definitely something. Yeah, and she definitely is known for, you know, love and stuff. It's quite interesting. Anyway, let's keep on going to the next girl. Alright, so next up we have is Bulma. Next up we have is Bulma from Dragon Ball. Whoa, look at those torpedoes. Okay, inappropriate, dude. Sorry. Anyway, Bulma, she is known for being a very, very smart genius up in the Dragon Ball world. She's built all sorts of crazy machines to help out Goku and his friends, and not only that, but she's also married to Vegeta, a very, very powerful Saiyan warrior, and not only that, but he's also the prince, and not only that, but he also got her pregnant and had two kids, a son and a daughter. Unfortunately, the son is a failure, and <laughs> so what Vegeta says sometimes. And his daughter, well, she's somewhat becoming a success. She's somewhat becoming a success. Wow, that's definitely something. Yeah, and Bulma, let me just tell you this. You'd be surprised how many people tried to get inside Bulma's pants. You'd be surprised. Wait, really? Yeah, lots of people are always trying to get with Bulma. When she was younger, she was really a simp for men. Like, big strong men and lots of other stuff. Like, for example, she... <laughs> like, for example, when she was a teenager a little bit, and she saw this handsome guy, she immediately unzipped her jacket and let her girls do the talking. Whoa, they were really that big back then? Yeah, somewhat. <laughs> and then, when she became older, and when she became older, uh, and when she became an adult and all that stuff, believe it or not, there was like three perverted video games based off of her, and I'm not going to tell you the names of it. Okay, 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 I'll tell you the names. It was called Bulma Adventures. Do not look that up, guys. Please, do not look that up. Do not look that up. I beg you, please, do not look that up. Ugh. Anyway... Back to Bulma. Uh, yes, I would definitely smash Bulma. I would definitely smash her. I mean, who wouldn't want to smash Bulma? I mean, think about it like this. Out of all the women in DBZ, who wouldn't want to smash her? I mean, think about it. Well, if you ask me, I think I would definitely like to date her. I mean, 
You said that she's married to the prince. Yeah. Well, I honestly do not want to do anything to offend the prince. Yeah, trust and believe me, Vegeta will definitely rip you from existence if you do touch his wife. Yikes. So yeah, I'm definitely going to date. Okay. Do not do anything with her, because trust me, you'll piss off Vegeta. Very, very badly. Okay, anyway, let's continue on going. Alright, so... Oh, this is a little bit of a surprise I wanted to uh, show you. Okay, what's this? Oh, is this Queen Alina? Yep, and as a surprise, your daughter Stargleam actually asked me to put this in here. This is your version of her. This is your version of her. Oh, so this is my wife. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is definitely your wife. Okay, so, <laughs> obviously, it's obviously going to be a smash. I mean, I already did before, so what about you? Well, she looks too much like my mom, except for the crown and everything. She doesn't look, she looks too much like my mom, except for the crown. Uh, but I would like to say date, because... Hey, think about it like this, guys. People can date their mom. <laughs> it's not like, you know, an official date or anything. They'll just call it a date, but it's actually just an outing. I mean, it's not like an official date or anything, you know, with kissing and hugging and all that other stuff. That's gross. Absolutely gross. Ew. Okay, well, anyway, uh, but to stay on the safe side, since she is your wife and all that, I'm going to say pass. Well, okay. Are you sure you don't want to say smash or anything? Trust and believe me, I want to make a good impression on you because I don't want you to think I'm going to be stealing your wife or anything. Well, alright. Okay, so anyway, you're going to be smashing, I'm going to be passing, alright? Anyway, let's keep on going to the next one. Okay, so next up we have is a new girl actually, guys. This one is, this girl's name is Komi. She's from the anime, she's from the anime otherwise known as Komi Can't Communicate. Komi can't communicate? I had never heard of that anime. I know I've seen anime before, but I have never heard of that one. Well, Komi, she's, uh, she's a very, very beautiful girl. She's very beautiful, she's smart, kind, and lots of other stuff. But there is one thing she's not good at. And that would be? Communicating, hence the name of the anime. She is really, really not good at talking. She has communication problems. It's because of her shyness. She's really shy. That's why she doesn't like, you know, being around people as much. Because she knows that they're going to be asking her questions and lots of other stuff. And she really, really doesn't like, you know, um, being all talkative and all that other stuff. And when she does talk, it's really, really quietly. Like, people can't hear her. Yikes. That's definitely some. That's definitely one girl that really does have problems. Yeah, she really does have problems, but it's okay. Who doesn't have problems? Yeah, true. Okay, well, anyway, as for Comey, um, I think I would definitely date her. I don't think I would smash yet. I don't think I would smash yet. I mean, she's too nice and sweet and innocent. She's almost like Fluttershy a little bit. Really shy and cute and beautiful and all the other stuff. But she's still a little bit, she's still a little bit shy. So, yeah, I would date her. Okay, as for me, I think I would date her as well. Because honestly, there's no way I would definitely, because there's no way I would actually, you know, smash a girl if, without her permission. Because clearly, how the world am I going to get her permission if she's not going to say anything? Yeah, true, true, true. And believe it or not, <laughs> how the, you'd be surprised how does she communicate. How does she communicate? She has a little pad and paper and she writes down notes and stuff. Wow, that's definitely something. <laughs> Yeah, you'd be surprised what type of stuff she writes down. Anyway, let's keep going. Alright, so next... Oh, we got a little bit of a... Um, <clears throat> little bit of a furry going on here. Okay, so next up we have is Miss Luna Hellhound from, from Hell of a Boss. Um, i never seen Hell of a Boss. Who is Luna, anyway? Luna, she's basically the... Uh, boss's daughter slash secretary basically she's a hellhound and she was riz and she was uh she was raised by an imp by the name of blitzo he is the owner of the of imp the immediate murder professionals 
they basic they basically have a whole company where they go up to Earth and they kill humans for demons. You got basically what basically what they do is they take they they uh, they um take clients and what they do is is that if a client has a human that needs to be dead and they're still living, they go up to the surface world and they shink kill them so that way they can go down to hell. Wow, that's definitely something. Yeah, basically the whole point is if they're if you're suffering, everybody deserves to suffer. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. Anyway, as for Luna, she basically is a typical teenager. She's a basic. She's a typical teenager. She doesn't really. She doesn't really care about anything. She um, basically, you can always find her like talking on her phone or all that other stuff. And one other thing she's definitely good at is shape shifting. She has because most of the demons or most of the people in Hello Boss. They all, they have a human form. They have a human form. It's like a human disguise, so that way they can uh, blend in with the humans around them and stuff. It's quite interesting. Luna and lots of other people that I do know have a human side, but I don't know if lots of other demons that I do know that has a human side. I don't know. But anyway, as for Luna, yes, I would definitely smash Luna. Who wouldn't want to smash her? I mean, sure, she may be that gothic mean girl type, but hey, who doesn't like a little bit of a mean girl? I mean, come on. Yeah, trust and believe me, I've been there. <laughs> Before I met Alina, I actually dated this mean girl one time. Broke up with her. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, well, anyway, for me, I think I'm definitely going to pass on Luna. Because, number one, I don't do furries. Number two, she's a demon. And number three, I want to go to heaven, not hell. And number four, she's my girlfriend, okay? Well, alright, alright, alright. Okay, anyway, moving on to the next one. Okay, all right. Okay, I thought Luna was going to be the end, guys. I promise. I thought Luna was going to be the end. But it looks like my brother decided to play a little bit of a joke on me and add Sunset Shimmer. Thanks a lot, Sonic. Ugh. Uh, calm down. But who the heck is Sunset Shimmer? Okay, well, basically, Sunset Shimmer, she basically is a girl from the My Little Pony Equestria Girl universe. She basically is a girl slash pony. Well, she's somewhat both. In the Equestria Girl universe, this is what she looked like. But, in, but when she goes to Equestria, which is a world full of ponies, she's a small orange unicorn with her mane the same color as that. But anyway, she, anyway, her power, she basically can, uh, read your feelings. She can basically, you know, see your memories. She can basically see your memories. All she has to do is touch you and stuff. And not only that, but she can also sing, she can dance, and she can also play the guitar. And she actually has magic all on her own. It's actually pretty cool. She basically... <laughs> was a villain at one point. She was a villain at one point, but now she's actually really nice and sweet and kind and straight up beautiful, not gonna lie. Okay, but for me, I think I'm gonna pass on her because uh, you seemed really mad at the time when you said that, you know, when you said her name. Well, trust me, dude. I do somewhat have a crush on Sunset Shimmer. I really do have a crush on her, but I can't say it to her because, um. I can't say it to her because, um, <laughs> I really can't say it to her because, uh, we have a team now and there's a rule saying that, you know, we can't date our teammates and stuff. What rule is that? Trust and believe me, dude. Trust and believe me, dude. Lots of team, trust me, lots of teams, they definitely do not get anywhere when one of their teammates is either their wife or their girlfriend and stuff. I mean, think about it. Look at the Justice League. Look what one, look what happened to Wonder Woman and Batman. Look what happened to them. Or what about the Avengers? Look what happened to Hawkeye and Black Widow. And I mean, come on, guys. Really think about it. Okay, all right. Just calm down. Okay, but yeah, I think I'll definitely smash. I'll smash Sunset Shimmer. And Sunset Shimmer, if you're watching this, this is all hypothetical, okay? <laughs> and you flamethrowers better not tell Sunset Shimmer, I swear. You better not. Okay, anyway, let's just keep on going to the next one. God damn it! Ah!
Okay, Sonic, you're definitely dead once I get back. You're definitely dead once I get back. Okay, who is this? Uh, this is the EG, aka Equestria Girl, version of Rarity. She is basically a... She's basically a girl who's really good at making clothes and fashion and all sorts of things. She can play the guitar and she also has magic. She can... Okay, sorry guys, I'm speaking with my teeth. Sorry, because I'm really annoyed. Anyway, she has magic. She can create... She can create diamond shields that can surround her and her friends and lots of other stuff. It's quite interesting. But like I said, she's really good at creating clothes and... um. One other thing, one other thing, she's good at playing the guitar, and you also better be careful because she has a habit of saying the word darling every so often. Same thing with her pony counterpart. She does the same thing too, except her pony counterpart has a whole carrot, has a uh, boutique and everything, and Rarity, she really wants to own a boutique one time, one day, but she's still in school, so yeah, that's definitely something. But anyway, for Rarity, ugh. Pony or not, I'll still smash. Pony or not, I'll still smash. Okay, for me, um, she does look beautiful enough, so I guess I'll date her. Okay, alright, good thing this is all hypothetical. Alright guys, we're down to the last girl. Hopefully it's not one that my brother Sonic inputted in. I hope not. Anyway, three, two, one. Okay, so next up we have is Nikuza from uh, Friday Night Funkin'. Okay, who is she? Well, Nikuza, she basically is a girl who is uh, the queen of the void. And she's really good at rap battling, and let's just say, do not make her mad or anything, because she will kill you. Yikes. Uh, all right, so let me see. Um, I think I'm gonna have to say, um, date, I guess. Okay, for me, I guess I'll smash. Yeah, I'll definitely smash Nikuza. But I definitely got to be careful because she is a very, very, very tall woman. Like, how tall? Okay, okay, let's see. Uh, let me see. Lady Dimitrescu, she's like, um, seven feet. She's like seven feet. Um, yeah, I think I'll definitely say that she's like seven feet tall. Wow. And who's this Lady Dimitrescu? Uh, Lady Dimitrescu, she's a vampire girl. A vampire woman, but that's a, that's a time for a different story. Oh, wait, guys, I just looked through my list, and it looks like I have one more girl left. Oh, okay. Well, all right, all right. I guess we can look at this girl. All right. Let's see who it is. Good thing it better not be another girl that my brother inputted in. Okay, good, it's not. Anyway, next up, anyway, last but not least, guys, we have a, we have a oldie but a goodie. Everybody, I'm talking about the ever so beautiful Miss... Chi Chi from Dragon Ball, Goku's wife. Oh, so this is Goku's wife. Because I was wondering if Goku did have a wife or anything. Yeah, trust and believe me. This is Chi Chi. Okay, well, basically, Chi Chi, she's your typical everyday stay at home mom. She has two sons named Gohan and Goten. She. <laughs> she doesn't really get the attention she deserves from Goku because. Let's just say, Goku, he tends to leave her every so often. What do you mean? Well, he's a Saiyan, and he really wants to get out there and fight, and save the world. So, what he does is he leaves for like a whole mess of months and stuff. He leaves for, he leaves for like a whole mess of months and stuff, leaving Chi-Chi alone to take, care of the, to take care of the boys and stuff. It's just sad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I would do if I left Alina like that. And I don't know what I would do if I left my Sarah like that. Who's Sarah? My wife. She's very, very beautiful and sexy, trust me. And she did give me a whole hell of kids. Wow, how many kids? To tell you the truth, I lost track. I think like five or six. Wow. <laughs> yeah, anyway, Chi-Chi, 100%. I would definitely smash Chi-Chi because, well... Goku, she, he definitely isn't doing his job. Goku, he's definitely not doing his job. So, hey, Goku, if you're watching this, you better step in and play the role as husband, dude. Or else Chi-Chi's gonna go find someone else better than you. 
I think, guys, honestly, I think he already, I think she already did find somebody better than him because, think about it like this. If you guys haven't seen my video of uh, Goten's origin, right, like real origin, there's a theory thinking that uh, Chi Chi cheated on Goku and stuff. It's uh, pretty crazy. If you guys haven't seen that video, you guys gotta go check it out. It's really crazy. But anyway, uh, what are you going to do, Ray? Well, I think I would definitely smash Chi Chi. Because, think about it, if Goku definitely isn't going to be doing his job, well, he isn't doing his job, then I'm pretty sure I can help out. Okay, well, newsflash for you, dude. You better be careful. You better be careful, because Chi-Chi, she has a bit of a temper. She does? Yeah, she's always angry every so often. Mainly because she hasn't, you know, gotten any for months, for months when Goku is, when, is, when Goku's gone. Because half the time when Goku does stay at home, all he does is just train and eat her cooking. Well, that's actually pretty something. Yeah, trust and believe me. Goku, I feel, sometimes takes Chi-Chi for granted. I mean, think about it. Yeah, that is definitely sad. Yeah, so yeah, I would definitely smash Chi-Chi. Yep, I'll definitely smash Chi-Chi too. Alright, well, that's it for this one, isn't it? Yep, that's it. That's all the girls. And, Flame, it's come to my attention that, listen, even though you do have a harem and stuff, and you do have a lot of women, I can see that my daughter definitely do loves you a lot like a brother. So, I'm happy to say you can continue seeing her. Aw, thanks a lot, sir. Thank you, sir. Please, just call me Ray. Okay, Ray. <laughs> Well, like I said before, guys, that's it for this Date Smasher Pass, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comments down below which one of these lovely ladies would you want to Date Smasher Pass. And also, let me know which one of these girls would you want me to bring onto the channel. Uh, except for Comey, because, guys, like I said before, Comey has, a uh, um speech problem so i highly doubt if i could get her on the channel i highly doubt that but anyway that but anyway like i said before guys if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and comment down below and also one other thing guys let me know in the comments if you guys want me to bring ray back onto the channel and also let me know if you guys want me to uh see if star gleam has any other friends or family that you guys want me to uh bring on because I'm, oh, and also special thanks to uh, Stargleam for letting me use her character, aka her dad. Thank you for letting me use him. And uh, so, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, hey, if you got any other uh, characters that you have over there that you want to see on my channel, just let me know. Just let me know. And I'll be happy to uh, feature them once I get the time. Because, uh, guys, let me just tell you this. Sometimes I have a hard time trying to do my videos because I do my videos from my phone and my phone sometimes likes acting up and acting stupid. That's why I have sometimes have a hard time trying to uh, do my videos and stuff because, you know, and all the other stuff. But anyway, hopefully this week will we'll go by swimmingly. Hopefully tomorrow because tomorrow is Ask the Sonic Crew Day. But anyway, Ray, is there anything else you'd like to say before we head on out? All I have to say is... Stargleam, sweetie, if you're watching this, <laughs> you definitely dodged something over here because Lucas, he's a good catch, but Flame over here is a great catch. Uh, Ray, like I said, we're just friends, nothing more, okay? Nothing more. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog and Ray the Hedge Dragon signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers. Goodbye, everyone. It was really nice meeting all of you.